<laughs> All right. So there's a couple things, guys, that we need to look at over here. Again, on a word problem, rather than reading the whole problem, we could scan it and we could look at the important pieces of information, though, and identify what they are. So if it says a culture increased from 400 to 1600, we got to think, like, what does 400 kind of best represent? And oh, I don't know why I erased it. I did that for a reason. Like, what do you think? Like, first of all, we see the rate is proportionality, right? So automatically, I can, um, I can say that y is equal to c e to the rt, right? Right when I see this rate of proportionality, I can go to this equation, right? And remember, y was like my final amount, c was my initial, r is my rate, and t is time. So 400 and 600, what do we kind of feel like those could like represent? Yeah, like my initial and my final, right? Wouldn't you guys agree? Like, if you have something that's $400 and then it quadruples to $600, like you have your initial and your final. It's kind of like, hey, you put $5,000 away and you have $275,000 later, right? Initial and final. So I'm just going to kind of write this as a coordinate point. I'll come back to it. So that's my initial, which is represented by C and my final, which is represented by y in this equation. Okay, Three hours is pretty obvious. That's going to be time. Oops, I'm sorry. Why am I using r? I'm going back to the financial. We're going to use k. k represents our rate of proportionality. Um, so guys, all we need to do is find k. Well, do we have enough information? We have everything except for k, right? We know everything except for what k is. So I can say 1,600 is equal to 400 times e to the k. Three. Now again, let's look at this. You're putting in 400. We don't know at how it's increasing. We don't know that k. We don't know the rate. The rate. But all we know is the it 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 um it goes from 400 to 1600, right? And doesn't that make sense? You plug in 400 and you get 1600 in three hours. We just don't know what k is. So let's find k. Well, can we solve for k? Sure. Right? What's happening to k? First of all, we want to get rid of this 400. So you have 400 is equal to e to the 3k. Now we just got to get rid of that 3k off the, off the um, power. So therefore, we got to get rid of the e. So we can just add out. Oh, it would just be 4. Thank you. Zeros divide out, right? But anyways, what do you want to do on both sides? LN. LN. So therefore, we have the ln of 4 is equal to 3k. Could we not say that k is equal to 1 third ln of 4? Yes? Part A, right? Good multiple choice question? I think so. And what about B? It says, how fast is the population increasing when the population is equal to 3,000? So what they're saying is, all right, well, we have a population of 3,000. Like, what is k? What is that constant? So what we can do is kind of go back to this original equation, right? It's asking us, DP, that's going to be your rate is how fast is something growing, right? That's going to be like your slope. How fast is something growing? It is equal to k times p. Well, it says p is 3,000, and we just found k, right? So we could say dp dt is equal to um, 1 third ln of 4 times 3,000. Now, the really only thing I can multiply here is the 3,000 times 1 third, which would be 1,000. So dp dt is equal to 1,000 times ln of 4. <clears throat> yes, no, maybe so. 